Hi, I'm Chad with Turf Organics, and today we're going to go over why is your St. Augustine grass yellowing? Now, there's many reasons that your grass can be yellowing, so I decided to split this up into three categories. Yellowing grass blades in thick turf, yellowing grass blades in thin turf, and yellowing grass blades in bare areas. The reason I'm doing this because depending on what you're seeing um, can kind of dictate what that yellowing means because it can mean several different things. So let's get right into the video and see what's going on with your lawn. Now on the screen I have a picture of some yellowing grass blades. Now the grass blade that's being held in the picture is green. But as you can see all around there there's a bunch of yellowing grass blades. Now this can be also known as chlorosis. Now seeing yellowing and things like this can be a lack of nitrogen in iron. Now this is what it can look like through the lawn where it's kind of a field of green and yellow but the grass is still thick and healthy just not the color that you want it to be. That is a really good sign that's a lack of iron and nitrogen and of course the, the fix is to apply some iron and nitrogen. Next on the list in thick turf can be a high pH. Now this is an easy test because you can buy some pH meters or you can send it to your local ag extension agency and get a reading on your pH. High pH can cause a catatonic state in the turf where it's having a hard time picking up nutrients. Now here's another picture of the yellowing grass where it's more extreme and again another reason why this can be happening because of root rot or other damage to the roots because it's not picking up enough iron and nitrogen and nutrients to thrive so if you're applying iron and nitrogen and you're still not getting results then most likely you have some root rot issues a good way to solve this would be fixing the drainage issues Obviously, there's some moisture holding in there, which is why the roots are rotting. So by solving that and then adding potassium, which helps develop the roots, can get the roots back in shape, then add your iron and nitrogen, and then boom, your lawn will be back. Now in there I said damage to the roots and what I mean by damage to the roots is I very commonly see very thatchy and spongy lawns. I have a video I'll link in the description about thatchy lawns but when you apply a pre-emergent to a thatchy lawn the pre-emergent can actually hit the roots and totally stunt it because that's what a pre-emergent does. It prevents roots from penetrating to the soil. So if you hit a root with an active pre-emergent, it's going to completely stop, lose all of its hairs, and not pick up any nutrients. Applying pre-emergents to a very thatchy lawn can do some damage to the roots and cause a lot of yellowing like we're seeing here. Those are the main reasons why your grass can be yellowing if your turf is still fairly thick. My biggest recommendation would be to check the roots first. If the roots are healthy, check the pH, and then if that's okay, apply iron and nitrogen. Now we're gonna move on to thin areas. Now, you usually don't see so much yellowing in this. I see a lot of people call this yellowing when it's not, so I wanna go over it, but it's definitely compacted soil. And then again, root rot. So most likely the areas are not totally bare and dying, but very thin and sparse. Most likely the soil is compacted. With compaction comes root rot. So they're two in one. Now this can also happen in thick areas as well, but most commonly the areas are thin when this is happening. It can look something like this. It can be even a little thicker than this, but it usually doesn't yellow. It's more kind of dead and dry blades, but I really wanted to add it in there because I get a lot of calls about yellowing turf and the, and the soil ends up being compacted. Now, of course, the best resolution for this is an aeration, top dressing if possible, but at least fertilizing, but always aeration and then fertilizing with a good high potassium fertilizer. That'll help loosen the soil, allow the grass blades to grow up, develop the roots, and then add your iron and nitrogen. Now, it can also be all the things I listed above as well. This is just the most common thing you'll see for thin areas. Now we go into the final one, which is bare areas. This will be big bare areas that you're seeing yellowing around. And this really makes a big difference from the other things because this is usually an active issue of a fungus or a pest going on rather than just a lack of iron and nitrogen and things like that. But it can also be all the things combined. So what I have in the picture here is chinch bugs. I have a full video on chinch bugs, which will be in the description below. But chinch bugs can totally decimate full areas and make Make them completely bare like you see here but then 
and as you can see the turf looks really good here and this ring around is kind of yellowing and brown because what the what chinch bugs do is they have a piercing mouth part and they pierce through the grass blade and inject it with poison and while that grass blade's being poisoned it turns very yellow so you'll see a lot of yellowing around these bare areas which is a really good sign of active chinch bugs um, which needs to be addressed ASAP because this will totally decimate and destroy lawns unlike the other things where the lawns may be stressed and grow slow but it won't totally kill the lawns so this is something to be very aware of big bare areas with yellowing around them that looks like this is a very good sign you have active chinch bugs and those need to be addressed right away now the final one is brown patch fungus. Now you will absolutely only see this in the fall and winter. And again, I have a link in the de description of a video of brown patch fungus, but this is not at all a lack of, of any of the things we've said above. This is completely its own thing and it'll almost be so yellow it's orange and it grows in rings. I have another example. It happens to be growing in two little rings. This has nothing to do with lack of iron, uh, root rots or anything like that. This is strictly a fungus that causes this yellow and oranging and moves out and you'll only see it in the fall and winter. Now, besides these last two I went over, which are pretty distinctive and you can tell the difference between what we looked at before, but what happened in the thick and thin areas can cross over. So my biggest recommendation to everybody is when you're seeing yellowing grass blades, check the roots. If, it's, if the roots are rotting, address that issue. If that doesn't solve it, check the pH. If that doesn't solve it, iron in nitrogen. And you can also do the combination of all. But I get a lot of myths that just when you see yellowing grass blades, all you need to do is add iron and nitrogen and it's fixed. That's not always necessarily true, um, but at the end of every solution, adding that iron and nitrogen to help get the lawn back there is there, but it's not always just as simple as adding iron and nitrogen because St. Augustine grass can yellow for many, many reasons. Now, I'm sure there's some smaller reasons that I missed, like chlorine spills or something, or, or, or chemical stress on a lawn can cause it to yellow and things like that, but that's a little different and unique. I'm trying to identify more natural things that can be happening rather than human-made issues to the lawn. I hope this video was very helpful. If anyone has any questions, please feel free to ask any questions below in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I always appreciate the support, and I love answering your questions. I'm Chad with Turf Organics, and everybody have a great rest of your day.